good morning student today we are going to explain the chapter number 1 solid state we are familiar with the the states of matter there are the three states of matter the solid the liquid and the gas in 11th standard we have we had study about the solid the liquid and the gases the solid having the definite shape and the volume so how so intermolecular force of attraction in the solids are high it is the greater effect the intermolecular force of attraction are greater hence we can say that the solid having the shape and size we can change the state of solid by the changing the pressure and temperature so the solid is a constituents of the maybe ion the molecules the atoms means the smallest part of the solids are known as the maybe atoms maybe molecules maybe ions in these chapter a solid state these atoms ions or molecules we have known by the particles so these all three ions we can gathering here by the name of the particles now before going to explain the solids we have know that there is a two types of solid the solid have in the two types the first type is solid have the two types the first type is a crystalline and another one is a amorphous solids so how they differ समजा आपण वाळू घेतली आणि वाळूला समजा जर मोठ्याने असं पकडलं आणि त्याला असं जर आताळलं तर तुम्हाला क्रिस्टल्स वाटली सर त्या प्रकारचं जे असते त्याला आपण क्रिस्टलाईन सॉलिड असं म्हणत असतो पण समजा आपण एखादा पीठ घेतला आटा घेतला आट्यावर तुम्ही हातावरती घ्या आणि त्याला असं गुळ बघा तुम्हाला कसं वाटेल तो रवाळ वाटणार नाही तो तुम्हाला एकदम चिकटल्यासारखा वाटेल बरोबर आहे सो दॅट टाईप ऑफ कंपोनंट इज नोन ॲज दॅट टाईप ऑफ सॉलिड इज अमर फस सॉलिड now we are going to explain solid this solids are two types crystalline and amorphous we have some characteristics of the crystalline solid and we have some characteristics of amorphous solid now we are going to discuss on the characteristics of these the solids are having the strong intermolecular force of attraction so solids are generally classified into two ways One is a crystalline solid, another is a amorphous solid. There are the some properties of crystalline solid and the amorphous solid. The crystalline solid generally shows that the particles are arranged in a regular manner and periodically manner. While the amorphous solid, the particles are not in regular manner or periodically manner. They show the randomly arrangement of particles in the solid. if there is a crystalline solid they shows that they have in the sharp melting point while the amorphous solid does not have the sharp melting point means there is no definite melting point next property is the crystalline solid are unisotropic this property cannot be given by the cubic crystalline solid but all remaining solid shows the unisotropic property so what is the unisotropic property we can explain here the unisotropic means if we have the physical property just like a refractive index electrical conductivity okay then they can change their properties with the different direction then it is a unisotropic the solids amorphous which cannot change their physical property according to their measurement from the different direction the property remain in the same the physical property are same with the with changing the different direction then it is known as the isotropic property there are some examples the ice salt and the metals all going to be explained by the crystalline solid why the amorphous crystalline solid having the examples the glass the plastic and the rubber these are the classification of crystalline and amorphous solid now we have to go to explain some terms of terms involved in a amorphous and a crystalline solid 
So first term is a an isotropy. Exactly opposite of isotropy. So what is the meaning of an isotropy? We can define here. It is the ability of crystalline solid which shows there is a change in the physical property when we change the direction. When we have to take the measurement of the physical property. Then what happening? We can change our direction. Then physical property is going to be changed. And why this is happening? Because the crystalline solid is having the particle arranged in a regular orderly manner. There is a periodicity. Due to there is a an isotropy. The cubic structure doesn't show the anisotropy. All the remaining solid structures, okay, they can show the anisotropy. Now the examples of anisotropy. So there is a refractive index, there is an electrical conductance, and the dielectrical constant. We can say here is a the refractive index is the property of anisotropy. The dielectric constant okay so these are the examples of an isotropy so what is the meaning of isotropy it is the property of amorphous solid in which the ability of physical properties no change with the changing in the direction to measure quantity direction change kele tari tacha physical property madhe konta hi badal hot nahi in that case there is a known as a isotropy so isotropy the particles are arranged randomly manner there is a no regularity there is a no periodicity hence there is a known as the isotropy so this isotropy where is given by the amorphous solid now the isomorphism polymorphism means many isomorphism means the only one if we have the more than one means if there are the two crystal structures okay having the same properties having the same properties having the same crystal two different different component asnar hai two different different apne ka solid asnar hai par sarvancha crystal structure kisa asel loka chai same asel tya vele sapan tyala isomorphism asa manat asto apne kade example hai baka cso3 and nano3 so what is the ratio here this is the one This is the one, and there is a three. Here is a one is two, one is two, three. Now listen here. The CaCO three different uh, solids. The NaNO three different solids, but having the same crystal structure as the isomorphism. The exactly opposite of isomorphism, there is a polymorphism. If we have the one uh, solid having in a different forms. एकच आपल्याकडे सॉलिड आहे आणि त्याचे डिफरंट डिफरंट फॉर्म्स असेल तर तेव्हा त्याला आपण या ठिकाणी पॉलीमॉर्फिझम असं म्हणत असतो वी हॅव द कार्बन ओके बट कार्बन एक्झिस्ट इन अ थ्री एलोट्रॉप फॉर्म्स ओके कार्बन एक्झिस्ट इन अ थ्री एलोट्रॉपिक फॉर्म्स इट कॅन बी शोन हियर ओके सो कार्बन इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ग्रेफाइट the diamond and the last one is the polyrex okay so it is made up of carbon it is made up of carbon it is also with the carbon atom means carbon 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 okay but exist in a graphite diamond and polyrex these different forms then it is known as polymorphism the simple component exist in a different forms they known as polymorphism the different two component exist in having the same crystal structure are known as the isomorphism there is a two marks of question write the difference between the crystalline solid and the amorphous solid in earlier discussion we have defined the crystalline solid and the amorphous solid now looking here there are the four points we have to explain here The crystalline solid having the regular shape, while the amorphous solid doesn't have the irregular shape. There is a particle arrangement randomly. So, crystalline solid having the sharp melting point. In amorphous solid, there is a no sharp melting point. 
the crystalline solid it shows the uh, isotropic property while the amorphous solid shows the isotropic property the crystalline solids are true solid while the amorphous solid are pseudo solid are known as super cooled liquid and the last one the examples all the metals are a well known example of crystalline solid while the rubber the glass and the plastics are the examples of amorphous solid now we have going to explain the well known crystalline solid and there is a classification so we have to make the classification of crystalline solid look at on the blackboard the crystalline solids are generally classified as a four base the ionic crystalline solid covalent crystalline solid molecular crystalline solid and the metallic crystalline solid so here is a according to their name we have well known understand how the classification taking place we have to go explain one by one so ionic species having charged ions the constituent particles we have know that the crystalline solid having the constitution of the particles okay we can't use the ion molecule or the ions in this we can say that the particles now when you are going to focus on ionic crystalline solid the particles are made up of charged ions what is the meaning of charged ion the charged ions may be positive may be negative positives are cations why is the negative one and negative are anions so the constituent particles are cations or anions okay now these are charged particles these ionic solid having non conductivity in their solid state but they are shows the conductivity in a liquid states so the intermolecular force of attraction is a electrostatic force of attraction in the charged ions are particle attracted with each other by the electrostatic the force of attraction the ionic solids are hard and brittle it is hard and brittle and they shows yes and they shows higher melting point they shows the high melting point now we are going to explain the covalent solid in covalent solid the constituent particles are atoms the constituent particles are atom and there is a the intermolecular force is covalent bond so atoms are joined to each other atoms are connected covalent molecule shows the covalent bond and they are made up of single crystal structure okay now this covalent crystalline solid should be hard they are the hardest material on the earth they shows the high melting point the sharp melting point and the sharp boiling point they are the poor conductor of heat and electricity okay so in ionic there is some examples we can say that nacl k2so4 kcl these are the ionic while in a covalent we have the example the graphite okay then a diamond so these are the examples of covalent solid the graphite is only made up of carbon atom means they exist in a single component okay now we are going to explain the molecular crystalline solid molecular crystalline solid in that molecular crystalline solid the solid is made up of molecules okay in ionic there is a charged ions in covalent it is made up of the atoms while in molecular crystalline solid the solid is made up of the molecules now these molecules are held together by various intermolecular force of attraction according to this intermolecular force of attraction the molecular crystalline solid can be classified in three ways the one is a weaker dipolar dipolar interaction dipolar dipolar interaction means 
the polar. Here is the example of STL having the positive, having the negative. So there is a polarity between the STL. Hence we can say that weak dipole dipole means polar interaction between the molecules. The hydrogen and the chlorine different two atoms combine here and there is the formation of STL molecules. The next is the difference if there is a non-polar molecule just like a CH4 that is a methane molecule the bonding between the carbon atom and hydrogen atom both are the non-polar molecules and there is the formation of methane molecules it is known as a dispersion or the London forces of attraction also the intermolecular hydrogen bonding also in the category of molecular crystalline sorry the example is a H2O, there is a bonding between the hydrogen and oxygen should be the molecular bonding taking place. There is a hydrogen bonding, so this is a molecular crystalline solid. So this molecular crystalline solid should be very soft substance and having the very low melting point. The molecular crystalline solid are poor conductors and Simply, it is uh, known as the insulators. Means they behave a poor conductor. Means it is a good uh, insulator. So we can use the molecular crystalline solid as a insulator. Now we have going to explain the last one, and the last one is a metallic uh, crystalline. Uh, metallic crystalline solid are made up of the atoms of same uh, metallic uh, element. We have the different metals. Just like uh, uh, sodium, then there is a potassium, then there is a lithium, iron, gold, aluminium. These atoms of the same element. Then we can say that these are metallic crystalline solid are malleable. They can prepare the thin sheets. They are the ductiles. They have we can make the simple thin wires. Okay, so these are metallic crystalline solids are good conductor of heat and electricity. All the metal which can use to uh, conduction of the electricity as well as there is a electricity from one place to another. There is a use of the metals that all examples is going to explain the metallic crystalline solid. So there are the four types of classification in a crystalline solid: the ionic solid, the charged ion made up of the covalent solid, there is atoms only. In the molecular crystalline side, there is a molecules. While in a metallic crystalline solid, there is a atoms of same metallic elements. So in this way, we can classify the crystalline solid.